Hi, hello friends. Welcome to Indian Tech Guru for you. In this video, let us solve the traveling salesperson problem using dynamic programming approach. So first of all, let us see what is meant by traveling salesperson problem. So assume a person is traveling from one location and should be reached to the same location after traveling to different locations. So for example, let us consider the undirected graph, which is consisting of four, four vertices, one, two, three, and four. Then the traveling salesperson started from node number one and reached to node number two, and then from two to three, three to four, and four to one. So that is wherever he started, he reached to the same point, so, however, uh, whenever we consider the distances between 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 1, the total distance uh, traveled by the salesperson will be derived. Similarly, this particular traveling salesperson can use another path, such as he may go from 1 to 4 and 4 to 3, and then 3 to 2 and then 2 to 1 so which may lead to the total distance traveled may be reduced provided the distance uh, traveling from 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 is different so like this uh, he may start from a particular location and uh, reach to the same location and uh, we need to find out the minimum distance starting from a particular location and reaching to the same location using any of the paths. So there will be paths between 1 and 3 and 3 to 1 similarly from 2 to 4 and 4 to 2 also. So that is there will be path between one vertex to all other vertices. So uh, to solve this problem, uh, first of all, we need a weighted graph, uh, which represents uh, the weights, uh, that is from one to two, assume the distance is 10, then it is generally called as a weight between one and two. And if you represent uh, all the weights, then it is called as weighted graph. So this, using this particular weighted graph, uh, we can actually derive an adjacency matrix, adjacency matrix, which is equivalent to the above undirected graph. So let us assume the adjacency matrix capital A with the values, because there are four vertices, we need to have an adjacency matrix of uh, four rows and four columns. Let us assume the values like this. Always from one to one, the distance will be zero, two to two, zero, three to three, zero, four to four, zero. So let us fill the remaining values. Assume like uh, one to two, 10, and then 15, 20. So next five, zero, nine, 10. And then 6, 13, 0, 12, 8, 8, 9, and 0. So these weights uh, will be actually available in the undirected graph. For example, from 4 to 1, 4 to 1, it is 8. So the value will be weight. However, because all paths are available in this particular undirected graph, I am not writing the weights. So even though I am not writing, you need to assume that the weights are available. So, and uh, we have derived this particular adjacency matrix from this particular undirected weighted graph. So this is the scenario now we are having. Now what we need to find, we need to find that. So starting from vertex one, this particular location, the salesperson must come back to the same vertex traversing through any of the different vertices that is he needs to cover all the 
three locations all the other three locations that is second location third location and fourth location and then come back to the first location with minimum distance so that is the solution so for that purpose so first of all let us uh, write down all the possible paths uh, starting from vertex 1 so from vertex 1 what are the remaining paths that are connected we can go to either vertex 2 or we can go to vertex 3 and then vertex 4 so that is uh, starting from location 1 either the salesperson may choose location 2 or location 3 or location 4 so assume that the salesperson has reached uh, location 2 then uh, he needs to cover two more locations that is 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 otherwise 1 to 2 and 2 to 4 next uh, if he uh, opted for location 3 then uh, he need to choose from two other locations either 2 or 4 similarly when he reaches to location number 4 he needs to choose either location number 2 or location number 3 so now let us assume that the salesperson reached to location 2 and then from location 2 to location 3 then what is the remaining location the remaining location is location number 4 so in this uh, second scenario 1 2 4 1 to 2 2 to 4 then 4 to the remaining is 3 and 1 to 3 3 to 2 and the remaining location is 4 1 to 3 3 to 4 and the remaining location is 2 1 to 4 4 to 2 and the remaining location is 3 1 to 4 4 to 3 and the remaining location is 2 so these are the uh, remaining locations uh, uh, if he opts uh, a particular path so however now we need to come back to location number one that is if he opted for the path one to two two to three three to four then he needs to come back to location number one so let us assume that uh, from one he needs to go to location number one not only in this path let him select any of these paths ultimately he needs to come to location number one so from three to one four to one two to one three to one and two to one then only the complete uh, cycle will be completed and the traveling salesperson comes to the original location now we need to find out which path must be chosen to make sure that he is going to cover the shortest distance so for that purpose uh, we are going to use the values that are available in the adjacency matrix because already it is a weighted graph and all the values are given so and uh, we'll be starting from 4 to 1 from 4 to 1 because if you directly uh, choose from 1 to 2 then 2 to 3 then 3 to 4 then 4 to 1 then we cannot determine which path must be selected so that's why we need to come in the reverse way so that's why first of all let me calculate uh, the distance from 4 to 1 the distance from 4 to 1 is uh, 8 so write it here 8 and then from 3 to 1 it is 6 write down here from 4 to 1 it is again 8 from 2 to 1 it is 5 2 to 1 5 and from 3 to 1 it is 6 and from 2 to 1 it is again 5 so these are the distances from a particular vertex to node number 1 now let me assume that the salesperson he came from 3 to 4 and then 4 to 1 
then the distance from 3 to 4 in the assistance matrix is 3 to 4 it is 12 so this value is 12 and then he moved from 4 to 1 it is already 8 so 12 plus 8 the total is 20 how could we get 20 the distance between 3 to 4 is 12 plus the distance between 4 to 1 is 8 so if the traveling salesperson moves from third vertex to vertex number 1 via vertex number 4 then the distance will be 20 similarly we need to calculate all the remaining distances 4 to 3 is 4 to 3 is 9 9 plus 6 15 2 to 4 is 10 10 plus 8 18 4 to 2 is 8 8 plus 5 13 2 to 3 is 9 9 plus 6 15 3 to 2 is 13 13 plus 5 18 so these are the distances now let us consider the salesperson started from vertex number 2 location number 2 then we need to find out what is the distance so from location number 2 there are two choices either he, he may opt location number 3 or he may opt location number 4 so now let us uh, consider both of these uh, two paths so if it is from 2 to 3 2 to 3 is 9 and already the distance is uh, 20 so 9 plus 20 it is uh, 29 using this path 29 and then from 2 to 4 it is 10 and uh, from 4 to 1 15 10 plus 15 25 so here because uh, he may opt uh, uh, either this path or this path he needs to select the minimum distance so we need to select a minimum of 25 com 29 comma 25 so that is uh, here at uh, location number 2 the distance minimum distance is 25 minimum distance is 25 similarly so if he opts this particular path then 3 to 2 is 3 to 2 is 13 13 plus 18 31 and 3 to 4 is 12 12 plus 13 25 so we need to find out the minimum minimum of 31 comma 25 so that is 25 and then from 4 to 2 it is 8 8 plus 15 23 from 4 to 3 it is 9 9 plus 18 27 so minimum of 23 comma 27 it is 23 so these are the values now actually the traveling sales salesperson starts from vertex 1 location number 1 so that's why however from location number 1 there are three different paths now we need to find out the minimum of uh, minimum distances from uh, among these three different paths from 1 to 2 the distance is 10 10 plus 25 35 from 1 to 3 the distance is 15 15 plus 25 40 from 1 to 4 the distance is 20 20 plus 23 43 so the minimum distance uh, between 35, 40 and 43 is 35. So the minimum distance uh, the, travel, the traveling salesperson can travel and uh, cover all the locations is uh, 35. How could we get 35? So using which path? So he needs to first uh, select uh, from 1 to this particular path and then from 2 to which is the minimum cost this one 25 is the minimum cost he needs to select this particular path and then from 4 to 3 and then from 3 to come back to 1 so this is the path he needs to select so from 1 to 2 and then 2 to 4 and then 4 to 3 
and then 3 to 1. Using this particular path, the traveling salesperson shall cover all the locations uh, and with a minimum distance. So this is how we, we are going to solve the traveling salesperson problem. So however, uh, we can represent uh, this particular solution using formula also. So let me derive formula uh, for this particular traveling salesperson problem using the working principle we have shown. So let me have some space here. I'm going to remove this particular graph. Okay. Now let us derive the formula for this. Actually, how we have calculated the cost, the distance, the distance uh, from 1 to what are the remaining nodes? 2 comma 3 comma 4. That is, we need to start uh, from location number 1 and we can go through any one of these particular locations, either 2 or 3 or 4. So that can be calculated using the formula minimum of C1K plus D of K comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 minus K. So let me explain this particular formula. So we need to find out the distance between uh, 1 and either 2 or 3 or 4. So that can be calculated using the formula minimum of C1K. So assume K is equal to 2, then it will be C12. What does it mean? The cost between uh, 1 and 2 plus the distance between k, k means here 2, 2 comma, 2, 3, 4 minus k. So 2, 3, 4 minus k will result in 3 comma 4. So uh, like this uh, we are going to calculate. So from 2 it may select either 3 or 4. Okay. So this is the formula. We can generalize this particular formula like this. d of i comma s where s is represented by set of 2 3 4 or if uh, i is 2 then it will be representing 1 2 4 something like that is equal to minimum of c i k plus d of k comma s minus set k So this is the formula, generalized formula to determine the distance. Okay. So like this, we can derive the generalized formula. So as far as the working principle is concerned, so I have shown how to find out the uh, minimum distance for the traveling salesperson problem, but he needs to cover all the different locations. So hope you understand the logic. That's all for now.